Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, and anyone else who may be watching this. I'm trying this, uh, trying this again. It's about the third crack I've had at it. Hopefully, this time I can uh, get it right. Anyway, just uh, spent Saturday in Brisbane, or to be honest, Friday night, and then all of Saturday. Uh, the main aim for this weekend's uh, training run was to. The original intention, anyway, was to wander up from a base in Fortitude Valley, wander up to Mount Kutha, do a couple of laps of that, and then run back. Didn't exactly go to plan. I only managed, managed to complete basically a lap of the uh, Samuel Griffiths Drive, or whatever it's called, whatever the official name is, anyway. Employing a bit of a run-walk strategy. I would have liked to have gone a bit quicker, but at least it's two hours, about two hours ten on the feet. In fact, if I just pull out the uh, Strava entry, you have to bear with me. This is all uh, I'm trying to do it all in one take, but yeah, this is already take three. Anyway, if we pull out the Strava entry, just make sure it's on the right page. As you can tell, I always uh, do this. As you can see, these are the, the details. Almost had a slippage there. It's a bit shorter than I would have liked. I would have liked to have gone a little bit further than uh, the uh, details on here. Um, not really worried about the segments, but this is just a rough idea of how far it was. Started Fortitude Valley and then wandered down onto the Long South Bank then up to the road. Ended up doing a doing a nice little loop of it. It did give me uh, at least two hours on the feet, although I would like to have spent a little more time on it. But them's the breaks sometimes. Probably means I'll just have to do a couple more important climbs. I know when I get back home after work tomorrow, I'll be hoping to do some climbs around town. 21, only 21 k. I'll probably can do similar tomorrow, probably even more. Because this is, this is realistically, next two weekends are basically the last chance I'm going to have to really get some serious training in before I have to ease off a bit. We are, after all, only five weeks away from uh, heading out from, heading off from outside Durban Town Hall. We're less than five weeks away from Drifting off from Melbourne to Perth to Johannesburg to Durban. I'm sure I'll be uh, touching base uh, a bit closer to that time. Uh, after Canberra, it's, training, it's been okay, but it hasn't been great. Hopefully, the, the knees are holding up. I tried to go for a bit of a recovery run on the Wednesday after. After Canberra, having arrived in Melbourne the weekend for Easter, it was a bit of a struggle, but even though I was able to find a bit of sprinting legs across some areas, I didn't really, didn't really find any distance legs. Having trouble with quads and hamstrings and whatnot. Now you have to be a little more conservative. And then of course last week, and then, of course, last week, uh, had the had an early shift at work, and uh, that's basically uh, interrupted the training program for that week. Even though it served a purpose and enabled me to get down here uh, reasonably earlier than in a reasonably good time. If I was working a later shift, I wouldn't be able to do this. So. Even though, although I may have even been able to stay Monday, have another, have two sessions up the hill and then fly back Tuesday. But I suppose that's uh, the way work goes sometimes. Uh, so basically, the plan from here, got a few hills next week. After that. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first boarding call for BA 13942 Adelaide. 
which has convinced boarding through gate number 41. Thank you. And uh, that's certainly not my flight. It's not my flight, but I reckon after land it's going to be empty out in a second. Um, yeah, so next week, three weeks out, we're looking to just taper off slightly. So maybe the next two weeks, looking at going reasonably hard. Work shift times are favourable, particularly not this week, but the next one, given that it is 11 o'clock starts, making it a bit easier to get up early enough. Do a couple of hours and then stay awake, not have to go back to bed. <laughs> get up again, get up again, it's a lot easier. Don't have to rely on dodgy alarms. Enough of that. Uh, so, it's all happening. It's fairly scary five weeks out, but ah oh well. Can happen, I suppose. It was a first time for everything, and now the day's getting closer and closer. I suppose it's all right to be scared, but well, I'm sure once I'm on those, once I'm on that flight in five weeks' time from Tulla, everything will work out just fine. Anyway, anyway, that's all for this. Well, that's all for this fantastic entry. <laughs> If you understood any of it, you're going better than I am, but oh, it's all off the cuff, it's non-scripted, it's everything like that. Anyway, we'll catch up with you again, I don't know, maybe next week, maybe the week after. Certainly before I uh, start packing for the Republic. Thanks guys. <laughs>